Good morning, vegan and vegan interested Plantriotic fan members, or not vegan interested, whatever. If you just like my, uh, like to follow my life because I'm weird and quirky and bring more self love uh, into your human experience, that is fine. I am alive and I am awake and I've spent many hours this morning editing while Brian sleeps in. He works at a restaurant and he has his off day today. Um, I hope the wind isn't too gnarly for the camera, although it probably is, because it's still a very windy day. We got a little break from rain this morning. It's supposed to come back later. So I'm just taking a morning stroll, just soaking it in, man. Like, I got nowhere to be. I got no one else to be but myself. I have no job I'm looking to get to make my life better. I'm content. I'm satisfied. I'm so grateful for my life, for my YouTube channel, for you. I just appreciate and love you, and let's have a great day today. Walking down to the beach. Who knows what Brian and I will get into. Brian is hilarious. I'm going to try to film him as much as I can today because he's super entertaining. Here the wind comes. Sandy and windy. Going with Kashi cereal today, trying that out, and it's so funny. Even when I'm not on my bicycle, my instinct when I buy something is like get rid of what you don't need, meaning the box, and make your gear slightly lighter and more compact. It's just my instinct. So I'm throwing this away, keeping this for my belly. Lunch time for me, and good morning to Brian. Yeah, that's all. You got you got to rest in on your days off. You're on your feet all day at work. So. Oh, look at that little camera. Just staring at me. <laughs> well, I am eating leftovers and fruits. I have banged out so much work, and I am being interviewed on the Thought for Food podcast in an hour because I'm clearly not a dedicated enough podcast host to put out podcasts of my of my journeys and myself uh, to you. I have to get my friends to interview me, and that's just fine because being a daily blogger is a full time job. And Jackson just texted me. What did he say? I'm ready whenever, just click the link. Okay, well I will eat my food, Jackson, and we will do the podcast. Can't wait, so go watch that or listen to it on iTunes or on uh, the Thought for Food platform, wherever they post it, it's gonna be a great talk. Jackson and I are personal friends, so it's gonna get deep and weird, and I'm an open book these days, so I hope he asks some juicy questions. Love you, bro. Appreciate you. All right. See ya. Epic podcast. Epic talk. See, I think I like being interviewed on a podcast even more than recording them myself. Because I'm recording them myself because I just have no like filter or expectation that I have to like structure the conversation a certain way. It's just like blah. Here's my heart. But I think I drop some serious knowledge in that podcast, so you can go watch it. Probably today that you're watching this vlog, it'll 
probably definitely be up by now. Um, it drops Thursday, November 16th, where the two Jacksons just talk about life, uh, bicycle adventures, uh, how to not get eaten by bears, how to connect with other people and not be ashamed of who you are, how to release your self-consciousness into the ether of Mother Earth, and just honor that you are one with all beings. And once you find that oneness, when you can look into any mountain or human and see your reflection that you're just brothers and sisters, the fear is gone because you're just communicating with yourself because we're all one. That's the path that I'm trying to be on. And cue the rain. Thought for Food Lifestyle. Go check out their podcast. Tons of always on Snapchat, always on Instagram. And Jackson has a lot of YouTube videos as well. So just, I feel like they're Plantriotic and Thought for Food, our brother, sister, uh, vegan social media spiritual platforms. So if you like what I'm doing, you're going to like what they do with a totally different energy and flair, but we're still connected. some park just to go do something before uh before hunkering down when this storm really hits but yeah this is supposed to be like the peak hopefully tomorrow it'll be a bit better uh but it's pretty you said this is like what did you research it was one of the like well, top 10 places to visit or something? well the beaches i guess it's number, number 10 in america or one of the top 10 and the national geographic apparently said we were one of the 50th or number 50 on the 100 places in the world to go that are beautiful <laughs> so i guess i should probably look out the window a little more L little old kid. we should all look out the window and smell the flowers a little more brian it's not just you i, I would but i'm generally stuck behind some tourist you know who's driving two miles an hour yeah you have to find that as a lesson of hey i'll let this tourist slow me down so i can smell the flowers and look at something instead of being anxious about it right you're from LA. <laughs> and I'm a yoga teacher. Yeah, right. And I'm vegan and I'm covered in tattoos, but that's okay. said he needed to grab something at the grocery store. I wonder what that will be, Brian. That is a beautiful fruit spread. The options were limited, but at least we found you. Coconut milk, so delicious. Time to cook up some more plant-based delights and... And have some whiskey. Have some whiskey. <clears throat> you have your whiskey. I have my vegan ice cream. Those are our vices and they're all fine. It's all good in moderation. The little ice cream pregame before cooking dinner. Dinner time, Brian and I are gonna Netflix and chill, I guess, uh, and eat plants. Well, I don't know what he's eating. He bought cheddar uh, ruffles and was like, bought him, was like, look, I bought us food we can both eat. I was like, dude, it says cheddar right there. He's like, oh shit. <laughs> it's like, those are the things. Like if, if, if you're not vegan, you don't think about those things. Like it's so obvious to me, but for someone who's not on that uh, repetition, I don't think about it. Uh, but yeah, I'm so excited to eat this food. It's got potatoes, carrots, and a little quinoa salad I made. I know you like your privacy, Brian, but when you let the red beard bandit into your home, you gotta just go with the flow. The people need to know what you're feeling. How has it been? Oh my God, he lifts the knife. He's too sassy, you're too sassy, man. What has it been like for me to enter into your life the past day and a half? What are well, some things that come to mind? Well, after getting some sleep, because I was, I was worried about you actually murdering me at night or stealing the family silver. Um, for real though? For real. No, I mean, this wow. stranger comes into your house. Yeah. Um, no, what has it been like? You have and are you not afraid of that at, at, at this present moment? Like, have you overcome that or is there still a little bit? I'm just curious. I'm an attorney and retainer. No, anyway. No, um, no, it's been, uh, 
I will tell you what it's been like. The most genuine person I've I've ever met. Most of us, we meet people more like, hey, good to see you. And we don't really mean that. Um, you do. Aww, thanks. You actually do. Um, which is wow. weird. And when... It shouldn't be weird though, right? Doesn't it seem normal well, that theory. we should be authentic? Yeah. But it, it just, just doesn't... It's not apparent in our everyday world too much. Apparent just doesn't happen. Um, anyway, no, um, what have you taught you? What has been like? He's taught me how to, um, eat healthy. Um, that will turn off on its own. Uh, not that apparently health isn't really your reason for being organic. For, for being vegan. vegan yes. Me. Um, that is true. Does that have a, anyway, it's fine. I'm sure just put it on the stove. Um, <clears throat> sorry. Um, no, you did, you taught me how to, to, to look at ingredients and, um, think about where things are coming from. And you can make me cry, you know. Oh. <laughs> Tissues are on the back of the toilet, and that's just. Um, <clears throat> anyway, um, no, um, you tell me how to think about things, and which has been fun. I'm, I'll give you that. It's I, I feel somewhat like it's been so very fun, free, and yet at the same time kind of bad about myself all at the same time because I live literally. Four blocks from the beach. I don't. Right. I don't actually go anywhere. Or see right. But me things. coming into your life kind of inspired you to get out and do the things that you weren't taking advantage of. True. True. Out true. Of I just mean, come on, we were too. or boredom or just habit. And the bitch is calling me lazy. No, <laughs> but, but but we all have that. We all have that in our lives. I'm not singling you out. Right. But, but you know. You just never thought of it. You never like opened up. It wasn't your... on my radar. You yeah, know what I mean, it's just you, it's you just had habits stuff. of where you went in your town, and you just never it's just, thought to, yeah. It wasn't habits. It's just well, I don't know what it is, but there's four blocks from the house. It's a very yeah. beautiful place that I never actually looked at or yeah. or thought about. And today we went and almost got blown on our asses. Yeah, yeah, it's it intense. We were fine. Um, being an Oregon tourist, you're, you're used to rain and wind. And it was a little intense today. A little. But yeah, well, hurricane. I appreciate you and think you are an awesome person, too. And it's seriously been fun. Just I love your raw sense of humor. And come on. <laughs> you don't like to take time. compliments now? Not even. I, what I, do you mean I, now? I just, never, never. I just love life. your sass and... You are who you are, and you wear it right on your sleeve, and it's just, you're proud, and I love to see that. It, it makes me happy to see that. You are unique, and you're not afraid of it. So who knows what will happen tomorrow? Um, Brian's just the nicest dude. He said if I need to stay another day, I can do that if the weather's too gnarly. But uh, I hope to get out because I'm trying to make my way to the Bay Area to see my friend Dylan, Plant Power and NZ from Auckland, who I'm trying to get to the Bay Area at a certain time to see him while he visits. But we'll see. If it's gnarly and crazy windy, I just can't do that again and get to the place I need to be. And if it is bikeable, Maybe I'll head out. But thanks for everything. Don't bike in a windstorm where the winds are 70 miles an hour. I know, you're like my Jewish mother. It's amazing. It's like you're my Oregon Jewish mother. Slash friend. Mainly friend. Oi, babe. <laughs> Much love. Will you give me a dream extreme? What the hell does that mean?